at last. Deep within the icy countryside, I arrive at my destination, a very modern take on a very traditional business. Here was a steaming lake packed with fish that are normally only found in waters thousands of miles to the south. Hello, sir. Hello. Anita. Sergei. Pleased to meet you, Sergei. Oh, my Lord. That is one big fish. I, I can see it steaming, Sergei. It's very mysterious. How warm is this water? Nine. Ten. Ten degrees centigrade. Pretty warm, because it... We've got snow on the mountains up there, and you can see the fog. It turns out that there's a local nuclear power station nearby, strictly off limits for our cameras. The water here is so warm because it's used to cool the reactors. How cold would this water be if the power station wasn't here warming it up? No. Zero <laughs> to minus. It's another sign of Russia's new entrepreneurial spirit, taking advantage of any opportunity, anywhere. This fish farm breeds sturgeon, the source of a valuable Russian delicacy, caviar. Is it safe to eat the um, caviar from these fish? Where, where, where does the caviar come from? Oh, there's that little hole, look. There we go. And they milk it, so you massage the sturgeon and out comes the caviar. With demand for luxury goods like caviar increasing, the owners of the farm are doing well and are planning to expand. Nuclear caviar. <laughs> mm, it smells great, it smells good. Shall we? How do you give it? Shall we just we? taste a bit? <laughs> It's delicious. Mmm. We like tiny little grapes of saltiness. Just bursting in my mouth. And that's how they package it. Tell you how much how much would this cost? How much? Fifty dollars. Fifty dollars, about thirty pounds for that. And you know what? It's worth it because that is yummy. Mmm. Mmm. <laughs>